two, one, go. Getting a flat tyre on a ride is always an inconvenience, but it doesn't actually have to keep you stuck at the side of the road for long. So here are some tips on how to change your inner tube in record time. Right, well, let's not hang around then. First of all, drop your wheel out. And then let any residual air out of your inner tube. Then put the wheel at your feet with your valve at the top and run your thumbs around the bead of the tyre, trying to force all the slack to one point at the bottom of the rim. Then lift the tyre up towards you and try and lift that slack over the edge of the rim with your thumbs. Now, if you can't do it, if the tyre's too tight, then keep the slack there, bring it to the top, and then use the palm of your hand to try and push the tyre off the rim. Now, if your tyre went down as a result of an impact puncture, then you can skip this step. But if it went down more slowly, then you need to check the inside of the tyre for any sharp objects. So run your fingers around the inside really carefully, but you have to be thorough here, even though we're in a rush, because otherwise, if you leave anything stuck in the tyre, then your tube is just going to get flat again. Next, put one side of the tyre back on the rim. Come on, you little bugger. And then take your spare tube out of your saddlebag or your pocket. Unscrew the valve and then stick it in your mouth, blow into it a couple of times just to inflate the tube very partially. With the valve at the top of the wheel again, pop the tube back inside the tyre. Then using your thumbs, work the bead of the tyre into the rim until you get towards this last bit here. Then you might have to use a bit of strength in your thumbs Right, just do a quick cursory check, make sure that the inner tube's seated correctly. When you're happy, you can inflate. Now obviously a CO2 cartridge is going to be the fastest way, but you can always just use your mini pump and just give it a bit of welly. Now, doing something super fast doesn't mean being super messy. There is no excuse for leaving inner tubes at the side of the road, so just stuff it in your back pocket and away you go. Now, if you are struggling to get your tyre off your rims using just your fingers, it might not actually be your fault. And that's because tyre diameters can vary quite significantly from manufacturer to manufacturer and even model to model. So, very simply, one tyre might be harder to get off your rims than another. Now, there are no rules here, there's certainly no bearing on the quality of the tyre in relation to how easy it is to get on and off. So maybe when you're buying your next pair of tyres, you just ask around and see if you can find one model that might be better suited to your wheels than another. What time? One minute 53. One minute 53. Beat that. Now, if you think you're a bit of a legend at changing inner tubes, then why not let us know in the comments section below this video what your personal best time is. Can you beat mine? Let us know. Now, if you want a more thorough look at how to change an inner tube, then why not click up there and watch a video where we take you through the process much more slowly and much more straightforwardly. Or to see more roadside maintenance tips generally, then we've got a playlist with all our videos in one spot. You can get through to it just down there. Before you go to either of those though, why not just subscribe to GCN and that way you're always in the right place for the next maintenance video that comes out every Monday. To do that, you just click on me. All that view actually, which is quite nice. Not a bad spot for a puncture.